Hey guys, Sips on Teddy here, and I'm not gonna do much talking because we're headed to Twilight Town. And you know what that means. Chapter 4 For Pigs the Bell Tolls. Well, this is a very ominous area. Sorry about that. Ugh, this place gives me the creeps. Is this Twilight Town? Nah! The creepy music or the br guy who looks like Darkly didn't give away to you? Hey! It's been a long time since anyone's come from outside. Da -na 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 -na. You've come from far away. Yeah, those clothes of yours. I'm pretty sure you guys must be adventurers, right? Adventure time! Come and bring your dinosaur. We're gonna go to a distant land with Mario the, the with Gary the dinosaur and Mario the human. Come on! It, it, it never ends. Adventure time! I haven't watched it in a while. Sorry, I screwed up the theme song. This is a bad time to arrive, but your adventures. Maybe it's the perfect time. Wait, what? A bad time? <laughs> if you come to Twilight Town when there's pigs, you're gonna have a bad time! <sighs> oh, gee whiz, I don't know. It's a scary tale to hear and a scary tale to tell, too. Oh, it's lunchtime! Everyone, gather around! We're having pork, apparently! Oh, this is so awful. Who could it be now? Oh! Okay! I, I I think I lost my appetite. I don't want any poorly Nintendo graphic GameCube pork. Well, that's the craziest thing I've ever seen. What's going around going on in this weirdo town? Oh badness. Poor Freddy got turned into a pig. Not good. I I just really like these characters from Twilight Town's design. I just they're they're really cool looking. Like it, it they're not bright and vibrant, they're just like, they're, they're creepy, but like, I, I don't know, it's hard to describe, they're just really, I really like his design, I really like the regular boy design for Twilight Town too. Who are you, Gramps? I'm the mayor of this poor town. Some call me Door. Door, Door, this, there's gotta be some sort of pun in there. Not saying that I'm trying to make a pun out of it, but it, it's gotta be, usually the names of like, prominent characters have something to do with the town to relate. Door. Twilight Town. I don't know. I Maybe I'm missing something. If you know what it is, leave a comment down below and I will be cool. I'm not exactly the sharp, sharpest fellow, but I belie do believe you're adventurers, right? This isn't a place for telling of tales, sadly. Come. Come to my house. He's gonna turn into a pig, too! Oh my god! Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I should have done that when he turned into a pig! Damn! I can't make good Twilight Zone references. My traveling friends, welcome to Twilight Town. I well, I'd like to welcome you, but welcoming people is generally a good thing. But it's nothing but bad here. As you may have guessed, our town has been cursed. Whoa, cursed? Yes, cursed. That's what he said. Open your ear holes, stupid. That is the right word, right? Yes, of course it is. You see, beyond the town is a forest. And its heart is an ancient building called the Creepy Steeple. I always like that name. It's just, it's, it's, it's cute. The dark creature who lives there, its curse ordains that when the steeple bell rings, one of the Twilighters living, Twilighters, eh, that's a cool name. I gotta, like, analyze everything in these episodes, why do they take so long? I'll just read the text, and this village becomes a pig. Will my loved ones become a swine? Will I, too, become one of the curly-tailed oinkered? I'm so worried I can't sleep at night. Of course, night and day are pretty similar here. If this keeps up well, the village would be one giant ping pen, which would be bad. Ah, the guy from Peanuts would love it. Let me give you some advice. Leave us before you cut pigified. Not gonna have him, Gramps. We're looking for something really important. Maybe you've heard of it. It's a star-shaped rock called a crystal star. Uh, 
I don't know Wayne Ballet and oh Crystal Star, but in Creepy Steeple, there's this glittery redstone tape. Okay, maybe it's just not my partners. Everyone in the world is an idiot. It's like, oh yeah, no, there's no, I've never heard of a crystal star, but there's a star that's made out of like a rock and it glitters and it's, 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 it's red. Well, the red has nothing to do with that. Well, you, are you serious? It's gotta be the crystal star. Gotta be. Uh, you people. You aren't thinking of going to the creepy steeple, are you? Brrr, unthinkable. YOLO! Hey guys, it's Untitled here. I really didn't get to do a proper intro because of that story introduction. But now, here we are in Twilight Town. I believe one of these has a star piece in it. I, it's got a very creepy atmosphere. And I, I like the music. It's 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 different. A lot, a lot of things about this town are different. I like how the pipes are... They match with the scenery. It's not just like a very out of the ordinary colored pipe. I just I just really like this town. It's, it's a very... It's a very good chapter. There it is. It's, it's a very good chapter of the game. It's... Not my favorite, but it's still a very good chapter. And can I... Nothing in the tree. Okay. I, I enjoyed the chapter, and the story's pretty good. Oh, yeah, actually... Le no, I don't want to spoil anything. But I like the story. I, this is a good place. And what is there to do? Hey, what's up? In this village, the moon is all we really can rely on. It e can even grant wishes. Don't let me turn into a pig. Don't let me turn into a pig. I'll even give up bacon. <laughs> ah, sniff. Oh, what's wrong? Little door, are you going to be okay? It'll be okay, Miss Dora. I'll give you a hug. Or I'll just open you and go by you. No, the door's been turned into a pig too. No. See, another cool character. I just like how they're like, they got, they remind me of like the Majora's Mask, like creepy things. They got like masks on and they got eyes. That should be a mask. Oh, that game was made like three years, a while before it. Oh, a customer. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're not open right now. Huh? Why am I crying? My husband's been turned into a pig. A pig? Well, you always say men are such pigs, so I guess you kind of got your wish. My husband went to the woods y yesterday to collect herbs. But no husband came home. Instead, a pig returned. THIS PIG! You swine! We got into a fight before he left, and I had called him, uh, Chomp? What kind of- what does that mean? Anyone leave, leave a comment down below, tell me what the heck that word is. Chauvinist? Shav- Shavinist? I- I've never seen that word before in my entire life. And Ellie really is a pig sniff. I- I, I completely forgot about that. Oh god, no! Oh no! I'm not doing this, the text is going too fast! And I love how Mario falls asleep for this. No! I gotta read! Like, I was in a- you know? Yeah, Oh. So, um, are you even listening? Yeah! I- I've been here. So hey, could you figure out some way to restore my husband to normal? I'll do whatever I can to help. You can even take anything from the store in that might help you, you know? Uh, what's that? It's locked? My husband must have taken the key with him and lost in the woods. Great job, dude! That's really not your day. Can I talk to your husband? Oink, lo loink, loink, is that an L? Yeah, loink, loink. It's an oink, oink, not loink, loink! Nintendo, your localization team sucks! Or... Pigs apparently speak a different language in Japan. What's up, little dude? Nasty monster lives in the wood pass here. I'm serious, that's what someone said. If you still want to go through after hearing that, you need the mayor's permission. Oh man, the old monster behind the town gate thing? Isn't that kind of cliched? Is that? Yeah, I guess that's cliched. You gotta be kidding me. Fine, let's go ask. Backtracking ahoy! And yes, that guy, I don't think it actually... Oh no, he, he does say he's the mayor. Hmm? bell rang. Does that mean someone's gonna... Boy, I'm psyched. I'm psyched it wasn't my turn to get pigged. So, yeah, this town's going down real low, real low, real low, real fast. What am I? I cannot speak today. This is why you don't make episode, two episodes back to back, Scott. You screw things up. Oh! Hey, can you give us our permission? Well, this ain't good. Don't you think this pig is the mayor? What we're gonna do now? We need that dude's okay to pass through the gate. Uh, oinky oinky! I'll take that as a yes. Let's go! He'll let us through. If the mayor turned into the, the pig, he'll be like, Oh, crap! Mayor, uh, what do we- Go there, I don't care! And, uh, great, another one. Is it gonna be us? It's us! We're secretly a pig or not. And, lady's still crying. Oh! Well, I guess it doesn't matter if we have our- 
Stubborn is a pig. That's actually pretty sweet for us. No pig's gonna get it. You're an asshole! Oh yeah! I'm so happy this guy's turned into a pig. We can just go through now. Come on, Gary. I know you're like recently hatched, but that's just rude. Ooh. Chad, Blackie. Strange Blackie. What could it be for? Well, we've seen two Blackies before, and unless they're starting another band, I think we might know what that's for if you remember, but if you don't remember, yeah, well, you'll see soon enough. Ah, uh, Super Goom- Oh, yeah, I gotta switch out the Goombal to show off this fight real quick, because this is a new type of enemy. Oh, and I did I get my Super Jump off? I wasn't even trying to do that. I did! Awesome! I totally forgot you could pull those off. And now you can see after you took 5 damage and you didn't go down. These are a new type of Goombas called Hyper Goombas, which... That's a Hyper Goomba, which means, um, it's a hyperactive Goomba. A doll! HP is 8, attack is 2, and defense is 0. But this net goes bizarre when charges up and its attack power will be 8 next turn. So yeah, he's... These guys are ridiculous. Oh, and, uh, do I want to show power lift off? We'll wait. We'll wait turn another time to show power lift off. We'll show off, uh, piercing blow on our next attack. But let's see if we can wipe this guy out. Nah, a little short. So I guess Goombella will take care of him next episode, and that tree will not fall, please. Nice. Oh! I guess we don't need to do a uh, quick hammer anymore. And come on, give us the luck. We're having a good episode. Nah. Alright. So yeah, that's what they do. They charge up and with their six normal attack plus their uh their two normal attack plus their six that now they can do uh eight damage with one attack, which is ridiculous. So I think we'll be able to take these guys out if we multi-bonk and we... Well, I'm going to try Piercing Blow, so I don't know how much that is going to do. So hopefully we'll be able to take it out or we'll get lucky with our uh, B combo. Let's see how much Piercing Blow does. It just pierces enemy defenses. I don't think this is going to do much. It's just going to be normal hammer. And that was... i never seen that animation on the hammer before. I guess that's what Piercing Blow does. Oh, we can finish him off here if we get the B. Oh, look at that. They even get to show off the super hyper damage. Super fire hyper damage! Whoa! So yeah, that's piercing blow. Uh, not really in badge I need to have on, so I'm gonna take it off and see. Ah, uh, we'll keep it on until we have like a bunch of things we can take off, and nothing in the blocks, nothing in the blocks, anything in the trees. Basically, the same version of the Goombell, but Goomb. Goombella. Goomba, but now he can fly, and that's really useless for this feeling. And same version of the Goomba, but he's sharp. I'll show these guys off in a battle a little bit later. Oh, I'll do it soon enough, and that's just for more coins. I really don't need to check that out. But what we're looking for here is... Oh! Key! Hmm, how do we... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! I remember as a kid, this, this part got me really annoyed, because I was like, Hey, let me through, come on! And I kept on trying, and I kept really pissed off this part, because I had no idea what to do. But, HRUNK! I love how the pigs all have different accents, but, if you, if you obviously think logical and just think of your partner's abilities, you can just take coops and... Shop key! So we can head back to the shop and open that, and you guys don't want to see backtracking, so I will cut to that. Also, I'm probably going to go record the next part of this episode in another session, so that's also why I'm cutting. So it looks like we're finally back over here. Oh, and she's still crying. Jesus Christ, are you going to give it off, lady? I mean, seriously. And, oh, I thought she was a pig, too. That would just be unfortunate. But can you go ahead and storm? If you want to feel this beat, take over the button. That's a good trade for getting my husband back. <laughs> I don't care about Charles, but I just want these goods. I'm not going to change him back. I'm selfish, Mario. Also, half asleep, Scott. And back in here, usually I don't, am not able to pick up all the stuff, because, but because my inventory is completely on full, I can pick up all of this, and I should probably explain what I just picked up real quick, because I normally don't deal with items. Life room, we already know that does jam and jelly, it restores 50 flower power, which, I, I don't think I've ever had enough flower power for that to be a complete fill, and I've never let my flower power get that low, where I don't have one of those heal blocks or something else. Really, it's... It's not that worth it of an item. It's overkill, and I don't think I ever need that much flower power. And if I ever needed that much restored, I would just use uh, Sweet Treat. And it, it Sweet Treat does do a minimal amount of re uh, returning it, but uh, I, I just usually sell these for coins and buy other stuff. Bushi uh, makes you invisible. I think it's for one turn, so basically you get like a free dodge for one turn that you spent your item on. I believe there's a badge that lets you... Uh, if you use an item on a turn, you still get to attack, which you could couple it with that, which would kind of work, but eh, it's kind of cheap, and it's a one-use item. And what else is in here? A badge, possibly? Defend Plus. It's basically like the Attack Plus, but with the Defend. Is it six? I think it is. Let me check. 
Ben plus. And why is my my sound is like freaking out? It's like getting really loud and really quiet and really loud. Defend plus five. Okay, that's still. I gotta get the defend plus and power plus on. But I'm just. I want to show off some other badges first. Hold up. Hey, who's in there? I just heard the voice. There's what? No way the people could be here. Seriously, that's just so unlikely. Oh me? What's that you say? You've seen a chest like this before? Get out of town! No, no, no. I'm not like those chests, I promise. Look at my eyes. Tell me I'm lying. Uh, you you don't have any eyes. I guess if you, like, look through the keyhole, I could kind of, we could, we could make a connection. We could make a love connection, if you know what I'm saying. As spicy and eat the balls. I'm not, seriously. Just get, just get me out of here. You'll see. Don't make me beg. What? Come on. You know how ridiculous you sound right now. I'm laughing in here. You honestly think I'm going to curse you when I get out? Curse you? Well, I did plan on doing something to you, but it's not as so much as a curse as a... Well, really wonderful new ability that allowed you to go to special places. Does that sound nice? Oh, come on, please. Just find the key and open the chest, okay? I know it's here somewhere. I can't go look for it myself because I'm in here. So pretty, pretty, please. Heart. Ah, uh, he seems like a nice guy. Might as well open him. I believe we already- did we already get the key? Oh yeah, we did. We <laughs> Fools! Like, we totally did not see that coming. But I, I just love the writing of the chest, and I love how there's really- You don't really know what's in the chest, it's just like this random face. <gasps> what were you expecting? Do you think a lovely lady would pop out or something? Now I'm going to hit you with the king of the curses, the cursiest curse ever! <laughs> Fear my terrible power. You know the pain of having your body roll up. I roll up. I roll up. Wee -hee -hee. Now you're cursed loser. Save your suffering. When this curse strikes, you won't even be able to walk. That's how awful. Wow, jeez. I, I, that's really terrible. We kind of let you out of that eternal chest that I don't know why this lady was keeping in her storeroom. I mean, it could be like one of those things she didn't know was there, but it's like the centerpiece of her storeroom, and it's this big, big black chest. I think she kind of knows. Your suffering amusing me, and so I laugh. Uh, it doesn't look like Mary is suffering that much. He's just sitting here, just like, okay, yeah, uh, I'm used to it. There's the creepy music, the random face. There's this cool kind of background. Huh? Ah, what's new? Now show me your cursed plight so I can laugh all the more. Just press R and hold R to rotate repeatedly. So you do this, and then we're rolling, 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 rolling. What? Wee hee hee! Your pathetic misery fills me to the core. You must roll around like a silly cardboard too. Oh, how you'll be laughed at. Now, do you understand the depth of your agony? Yeah, I, I guess. Agony. Ooh, he, he. Best be the return the normal. Don't forget, brain mush. I leave you to suffer, fools. Ooh, he, he. That's just one thing I love about this game. They, they even make like the... They make it over and over again. And they make like that little villain dude. He's just like... Yeah. And this is, I think this lady starts selling items and she comes up with some sort of sob story. We have to get ready for the store for business. I sure wish I had my husband back the normal horror. Okay, no, she doesn't get back to it. And I remember a little bit later, she definitely does start reselling stuff again. But I thought it was just like right after we went to the store. And she's like, eh, you know what, we might as well do that. And let me check my email. I never do this usually during the last play because it's usually something stupid. But I'll show off what it is. Yeah, it's just, uh, RDM. I don't know what RDM stands for, but it looks like it's just like a uh, rogue port news port new news port newspaper. The Excess Express it, it gives a little uh, foreshadowing stuff, shopping, give you deals. La da 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 da. Who needs salt stamps? Yeah, it talks about the hot dog dude. Yada yada yada. It's just eh. It's really not necessary. If you want to read it, go ahead. And I think I want to take off piercing blow real quick because I really eh. I'm not getting much use for it. What can I put on in place of it? Eh, I'm gonna keep it off and even though I could put something back on I'm just gonna slowly take stuff off that I don't need and then put on my attack X or my defend X so now that we have this new ability that's totally cursed and it's awful and terrible and la, 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 la. I think okay we'll fight one of these other guys on our way back to and maybe we can show off did we I don't think we showed off flurry's new attack we can show off flurry's new attack and powerless so we'll do that So yeah, oh crap, I gotta get Kumbella out of here first. Uh, let's see, we'll, we'll attack with Flurry and then we'll switch out to Kumbella. So, Lip Lock. Lip Lock will... Press A when... Oh, it's 
Oh, this is one of those weird- It's a- This is why I don't use fire. I hate button mashing things, because I really suck at them. And also, I kind of stylish for that. So basically, uh, Flurry goes all vampire and she sucks up some of the guy's HP. It's really not worth it for the amount of flower power it takes. Oh, and I can show off charge too. Charge is basically the attack version of defense. And it's like those guys do, how they can charge up and do 5 attack like then, but those is a lot more dangerous because now they can do like 6 damage in one move. But we can sort of do that, and now we'll do a ton more damage. But, uh, hmm, how am I going to do this? I'm going to swap to Goombella. We already have the front one weakened, so we're going to take out the back one with... Wow, I'm really that low on flower power, really? Uh... I wonder, we'll, oh yeah, I'll drop his attack, might as well use this on this back guy, even though I think we'll be able to kill him with our upgrade. Yeah, that just does a ton with that uh, charge. Maybe I should keep charge on, it's actually really helpful. What would I have normally done? Let me check on a regular jump to see if charge is actually beneficial. And let me tattle these guys real quick. There's nothing really interesting, I just like getting my tattle book full, because last time when I played through the game, I was one tattle short of having a full tattle book book, so it kind of pissed me off. So let's see, he's got 7 on him. A normal jump, so a power jump did 8. A normal jump would have done 2. I mean 4. So, okay, it's not really worth it. It just is the same amount of things, because the one turn I take charging, it's just doing it in one attack. There's, so there's really no benefit of that, and wow. Just something with the Goom Goomba's like, animation, I'm just good at blocking it. So we're gonna have, uh... We're out of... I guess we'll go- we'll have Mario do Sweet Treat and then we'll take an attack. Because I'm not gonna- hopefully there's one of those- I'm not sure right off the top of my head if there's one of those heart stations coming up where I can pay to heal my flower fire, or I can just go back to the inn. Eh, I'm lazy and dude, YOLO bro. You know what I'm talking about, 420 swag all day, even though I ain't about that life. I- I- usually when I say one of those phrases, eventually the other couple phrases are gonna fall. And I don't need all this health really, I just need some of this flower power. Six, that's not that bad. And I, I'm just too lazy to go back to the end. So we'll take out the guy who's very dangerous. And we can, we'll, we'll, we'll go cocky and we'll go for the B on him. I think we can get the B on him. Yep, I'm cocky, but I know it. I'm cocky and I know it. Bob, you're an idiot. Why would you not attack? Oh, well, he's dead anyway. And I guess we'll get the show off power bounce another thing. And I guess I showed off both of the jumps. I believe I showed off both of them. I just really don't like the... the jump uh badge point thingies they're just eh, they don't interest me they're just not they're not cool you know what i'm saying bro and i guess we'll fight ah eh, now we'll fight him now and i guess i could have taken off the stomp thingies but eh, too late for that now so we will tattle on him real quick nothing interesting it's just I, i'll show up this title and then i'll cut out this battle because it's really nothing interesting la 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 nine attack he's really dangerous Okay, well this is either gonna end up really good or really bad. They're all fully charged and they all got one left. Let's see if I can be a beast. I I've talked so much crap on these guys, let's see if I can get my defense going. Oh no! Holy I oh no, 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 no. Oh, okay, that was close. If I would have died there, I would have felt like a complete idiot. Uh let's quake hammer it again, just so we don't lose this battle. <laughs> God, that was almost really, really awful. And don't hurt me, thank you. <laughs> okay, maybe I get a little too cocky with that. Maybe the, the I'm gonna blame it on the spike. The spike's too big, so it messes up on like uh, definition of that, and nothing in that block. That's kind of annoying. Anything in these two trees that I really didn't get the check because I was running away from the goops. Nope. So now, because of our new spinny ability, which also, you can move a lot faster in regular battles. Also, you'll run into random battles while you're doing it. It doesn't matter that you're in this. You can move a lot faster. It's I think it's a tiny bit faster than uh, running around with, uh, which we call on Gary's back. But now there's this giant haystack, and what if we might do? Blow, blow, blow your house down. That's not the wolf reference, and I believe... Yep, there's a star piece around that. That's what I was trying to do a little bit earlier. And, ah, that moon looks really cool. So now we head into the forest of the background. Is there a save point back here? Nope. Just, oh god, crazy daisies. Oh yeah, just like that water toys I used to play when I was young. But I think I'm going to end this episode off here while I'm taunting this daisy. Next time on Let's Play Pit Mario the Thousand Real Door, we're going to head into the forest of Twilight Town. And hopefully get some cool battles done and show off one of these enemies really, is really threatening, but you wouldn't expect it. See you guys next time.
Hey, sorry about me being tired in this episode. I kind of record this one. I was like, oh, star power, star piece. Da, 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 da. I can never speak during these Paper Mario episodes. That's why I make them so long, because they're they're boring and they suck. So if I make a long video, they won't notice. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry I'm tired. I, I, wa I want to get videos out, and I have to go. Oh, frick. I have to record whenever, so I'm getting my videos out just like because I love you. Cause I'm a little run away. Bum, 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 Run! <laughs> run, you stupid paper towel! No, 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 Mr. Paper Towel! Oh no! Oh, parkour! <laughs> Let's go! I'm an idiot.